1,000 only. I created an account from scratch and in each episode I complete a task of 1,000 things. But you, the viewer, decide what my next task is going to be by voting on a poll which I release each video. Now pick your vote wisely because the profit I make will be invested into better gear to prepare for the next episode. For a full list of the rules and restrictions, check out the description of the video. Are you ready? Let's begin! Hey, hello there everyone! My name is Venica and welcome to episode 15 of 1000 Only, Konar Slayer Kills. Last week it felt pretty weird to not upload a loot video because I've been focusing on the Trailblazer League in the past few days, but now I'm back with another video and from now on I will prioritize 1000 only again. But if you are up for more content, then feel free to check out my League videos as well. There's going to be a lot of bossing in there, I've left a link to that series in the description. Anyway, I couldn't believe my eyes when I checked the poll results from last episode because Konar Slayer won by literally one single vote. Now this proves that every vote matters guys, so make sure to vote on each episode because your vote might be the deciding one. Now if you voted for Crystalia and you're disappointed it didn't win, don't worry, not all hope is lost. In the future we will of course do much more Slayer and Crystalia will return in future polls as well. Alright guys, let's now get into the episode. I had a quite hard decision to make because even though I had a lot of money in the bank, it was not enough to buy both a black mask and a whip. So for today I have decided to sell my fury amulet, only temporarily, to afford those items. Now of course as soon as I have the money back, I will buy a new fury amulet, but I just really wanted to use a whip for the first time in this series. I think it's incredibly exciting that we can use this iconic weapon now. So in episode 10 I left off with some fire giants I still had to kill, but I decided to use my slayer points to skip it for now because I will not receive any brimstone keys if I decide to include these in the episode. But anyway, now we've prepared everything we needed, so let's go and slay 1000 creatures. Konar Kuo Maten, if that's the way to pronounce it, is a slayer master located on Mount Karum in Zea. She requires level 75 combat to assign tasks and she does not only assign a monster to kill, but also a specific location. Sometimes this makes a task harder because you cannot always kill the monsters on a convenient location. However, to compensate, they will have a chance of dropping brimstone keys now. Now brimstone keys can be used to unlock the brimstone chest to receive valuable rewards. Now the rarity of the key depends on the combat level of the monster you are fighting. The higher combat the monster has, the better chance of receiving a key. My first task was Greater Demons in the Catacombs of Korand, and this is actually a quite amazing task because in the Catacombs, demons can drop much more than just brimstone keys, such as totem pieces or ancient shards. During the task it was raining runeful helms and I did also obtain a couple of brimstone keys, so it was definitely not bad at all. My second task was to kill Bloodveld in the Godward's dungeon. Now this is not the most convenient place to kill them, so to make it a little bit easier, I decided to complete the quest Edgar's Ruse. This allows you to teleport to the troll stronghold which makes everything just a bit easier, so totally worth it in my opinion. I also wanted to collect a second gout weed because I know this is gonna be needed in the dream mentor quest when we get there in the future. So I completed the quest and this got me some nice free herb lore levels. Now it was finally time to kill some Bloodveld. Now I have decided to make some changes to the future of this series. From now on I will not force myself anymore to pick up and bank every single item I receive during my 1000 grind. For example regular bones will be buried and in some cases useless loot will be left on the floor. The reason why I'm doing this is because I've realized I'm not helping anyone by picking up these items. It's a tedious thing to do and it takes longer to finish the episode for you guys. After killing a couple of blood belts, I got a clue scroll that required partial completion of Regicide. Now I've simply decided to complete the entire quest, but this also means I have to do the underground pass first. This quest is by many people considered as one of the most annoying quests in the game and I cannot agree more. Now one advantage at least is that I have trained my agility in episode 11 already, so I didn't fail too many times during the quest fortunately. After the underground pass I got some attack and agility XP and now I can use the Iban staff which has a very powerful magic spell attached to it, so that's not a bad thing to have unlocked. But I still had to do Regicide and the reason why I completed the entire quest is because it unlocks a teleport to the elven camp and that will save me a lot of time in case we get a future clue there. So after that was done I got another 13k agility XP and some coins and I could finally continue with my clue scroll. 
In the steps after that I got some Zemurak and Ceridomen mages here and there but I managed to get a cask in the end so that should be very exciting to open at the end of the video. Alright so back to my task and when I returned I got another brimstone key that is always welcome and a few kills later another. I also got 55 slayer this task and that is quite interesting because it unlocks Turoth and these guys are very interesting but I have to kill these without a herb sack if I don't get it soon and then I'm gonna cry so please don't make that happen guys. Alright but in all seriousness though I completed my second task with three brimstone keys at the end so that was much more than I expected. I went back to Konar for a new one. This time I had to kill Dagonoth in the lighthouse and that is not the most interesting task but pretty easy and quick and that is sometimes nice too. On my very first kill I received a snapdragon seed and a bit later I trained my defense to level 68. And then I got a drop like I was talking about before, a pile of 8 seaweed that is just not worth picking up anymore. I also got a medium clue scroll this task and even though most mediums are usually bad I'm always excited when I get one because who knows, what if I get ranger boots? So after the clue, back to the Dagonoth and got another Snapdragon Seed. And then I also got a Casket, so let's call this a fake clue scroll casket. Now this task got me no brimstone keys whatsoever, but let's move on to the next one and hopefully we'll be more lucky there. My fourth task was Calphite in the Calphite Lair, and I gotta admit that I'm not the biggest fan of those. I did listen to your advice though and I killed the Guardians for better Slayer XP instead of the Workers, which I normally did to get it over with quickly. But even though I don't like the task, I got quite a lot of rune items, such as a rune chain body and med helm. And apart from that, my range level got to level 76, and that is of course always welcome. So once again, I was ordered to bring balance to Bloodveld, but this time in the catacombs of Corinth. And this task was actually insane. I decided to go with range and safe spot them, and what is so nice about these guys is that they always drop good stuff. Loads of blood runes, alcables, totem pieces, you name it. I also managed to get a hard clue scroll and finally I was able to complete one without any problems whatsoever. The questing finally paid off. With about 82 Bloodfeld left I got 58 Slayer and this unlocks a very interesting creature, Cave Horrors. And this beast drops the Black Mask so if we do a 1000 only video about it we could potentially make a lot of money there. And then I received a very rare drop from this Bloodfeld, a Dragon Met Helm. I was like what is going on here? But anyway, after that I got another brimstone key, I completed a clue, and got 75 hit points. And then just before the end of the task I got 77 range as well. Simply amazing. So I returned to Konar and I was hoping for an amazing task, but once again I got Kelphite. Now, to be honest, I shouldn't even complain about it actually, because it is great Slayer XP and very AFK, but just a bit boring. But I gotta say that in this task, Konar got my back, because I managed to receive 3 brimstone keys. And that made everything so much better, I'm super happy. I also trained my Slayer to level 59, so one more level and then we can kill a Baron Spectres. Now my final task of the episode was to kill greater demons in the Brimhaven dungeon. They are a pretty chill way to do the final kills, I must say. I was pretty lucky as well with this task, because I managed to complete a couple of Harklu scrolls and I also collected two more Brimstone keys. Now what I think was a bit unfortunate though is that I did not make it to 70 defense in this episode, but of course we will do that in the next one most likely, so that's gonna be okay. But now that we have done 1000 Konar Slayer kills, let's take a look at our loot. In total I have 4 price checks. The first one contains all the cash we collected, but also bones, runes and herbs. And this price check comes down to 765k. Then we've also got loads of armor and alcables good for a total of 397k. The third price check is starting to become a bit more junk, but still something, 44k. And last of all, a little bit of something, well, 26k in total. But now let's go to the GE and see how much we've made. So after selling everything we made 1.2 mil and 14k, but of course we are not done yet because we have still some brimstone chests to open. I received 12 keys in total, so let's see how much that is worth.
So the monster loot in combination with our brimstone loot is worth 2.5 mil and 28k. Now this means that our brimstone loot alone is worth more than all the 1000 kills combined. That is pretty sick. But of course, what would this video be without a clue scroll opening montage? We've got 5 hard clues, 1 medium clue and 2 fake clues. Let's open them my friends and see what we get. So that means that in this video we made a whopping 3 million and 87k. That is the best we've had so far, so I'm super proud of us. We also got a master clue scroll, but I won't be able to do that for a while, so I've decided to keep it safe in the bank for now. If we take a look at our stats, then we can see our defense has leveled up to 68, range to 77, hit points to 75, slayer to 59, and herblore to 42. Definitely not bad. So now it's finally time to one of the most exciting parts of the video, the next poll. This time you may vote for 1000 tithe farm points for the herb sack, seed box and full graceful, 1000 cave hoarders for black masks and hard clue scrolls, or 1000 blue dragons for dragon bones and hides and hard clue scrolls. If you choose 1000 tithe farm points, I will be able to use a herb sack and seed box in future episodes, which will help to speed up future 1000 only videos. Because it's very beneficial to have, I will also get my Graceful Boots before starting the episode to complete the entire Graceful set on my account. Finally. If you choose Cave Horrors, I will complete a bunch of quests to get access to Mosla Harmless, to get access to Cave and Jungle Horrors and to unlock certain clue scroll requirements. If you choose Blue Dragons, I will use all Dragon Bones on the Wilderness Altar at the end of the episode to level up our prayer as much as possible. Now if you want to vote, it is very easy to do. Simply click on the link in the description or in the comments and choose your favorite option. It only takes like 10 seconds. And if you decide to vote, please also consider subscribing to the channel so we can keep up with my future uploads and of course vote on the next video again. I hope you all enjoyed this video my friends and if you did, it would be amazing if you could leave a like and comment on the video. It takes a lot of time to make these videos but you guys can actually help me out by telling your friends about it and making it more popular. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time, bye bye.